Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The Islanders could close things out with a win here tonight, Ray. You want to put this series to bed as quickly as possible? You've got the lead. It's time to finish it off. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Shot blocked in traffic. Grabbed along the boards by McDavid. New York's got the puck at the defensive end. Everly's picking up steam. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. And that one's picked off. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck grabbed by Lee. Now a quick pass to Everly. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Barzell. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Taken by McDavid. Directs it on over to Bear. Here they are on the attack. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. On the attack along the boards. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Quick pass to Beauvillier. Receives the pass. That's off a stick. Moves it to Barry. Feeds the puck across to Cajon. Gains the zone through center. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. New York's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Ties them up, and it didn't go unnoticed in the eyes of the officials here. Steps up with the block. Let's get the official decision. The call is hooking on the play. This is a penalty of bad positioning. You reach out to try and slow the guy down, you're going to get called almost every time. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Well, hard work earns the first power play of the game for them, and now they've got to take advantage of it. They'll start with the faceoff, of course, in the offensive zone. Shot right in front! Scores on the power play! Uh, they use the man power advantage to get to the puck, move it around quickly, and cash in. Most power play goals are a shot, a rebound, a quick pass around the front of the net. Here's another one. Win the draw and shoot it right away. New York's come ready to play tonight with an early goal. Can't be any better than that. They wanted to start the game quickly, get on the board fast if they could. It's a perfect start. Neal's got it against the boards. To point blank. Great save by Varlamov. Dangerous spot in the slot. And the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Islanders win the draw. Picked up along the wall by Boychuk. Up the neutral zone now. Moves it quickly over to Clutterbuck. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Slides it over with pace to Neal. Look out, a two-on-one. Excellent stick work on the play. Puck battle along the boards. New York's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Ennis. Centering pass. Snaps it on net. And he denied that opportunity. 
right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice poke check. Picked up along the boards by Cassian. A chance in front! Turns it away. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Fired into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. Couldn't complete the play. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Shot! Gives them nothing in front. And now he tries to get it across to Del Cole. Moves it to the offensive zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Played big in the moment there. Tries to feed it over to Yamamoto. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Make a change, make a change. Along the half wall with the puck. Good hit on the play. Battling for it along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Nice pass. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. A little crash and banging forces the turnover. Tries to get it over to Letty. Nelson's moving the puck through his own zone. Gets it back. Sends it in on the attack. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the pass. Puck scooped up by Pulak. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Nice zone entry from the left. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Made the save on the play. Here comes the official's call. Pellick's getting two for tripping. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. Kind of stop. Edmonton sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Even though this is a great chance to tie the game, you still have to remain a little bit patient. Don't panic with the puck. Quick feed to Neal. And he comes up with it. Can't connect. Nearing the midway mark of the period. New York's ahead, 1-0. Sezikis wins the draw on their own end. Puck move back to center, forcing them to regroup. Into the attacking area from the left side. Sends it in deep. The Oilers have it against the wall. Quick pass to Neal. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. New York's across the blue line. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Moves it to Neal. Moves it around along the half wall. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Big save in front. Now it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Slides it diagonally to Barry. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Puck clears the zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Trying to get it down the ice. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game. You scores and plays the counter punch. We're all evened up. Now that you've scored this time goal, you'd like to follow it up with a shifter to see if you could really change the momentum. This is really terrific awareness here. He puts the shoulder fake on, great hands, pulls everybody out of position and lays a sauce over for his teammate to finish. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Islanders have it now. Yes, he Puts it on net, comes up with the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Barzell. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Time of the goal. Nine minutes, 52 seconds. 
Koskinen's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Past the midway mark of the frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Puts it in deep. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. New York's gained possession along the boards. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Taken by Barzell. Right out front, and he totally whiffs on it. And they can't connect. The Oilers move it in. Quick feed down low. Takes the feed. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. From the left side, they gain the zone. Wrist shot from the slot. Stick save by Koskinen. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Maintains possession. Stones him in front. Barzell's looking to make something happen here in the corner. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Edmonton's on the attack. And a poke check knocks the puck away. They fight for it along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. Misses the net. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. New York's got a hold of the puck. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Here's a chance! That goes off a twig. Slides the puck across to Beauvillier. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Clutterbuck. Takes a shot and makes a save. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Taken along the wall by Barzell. And that goes off a player. Here's a short pass to Barzell. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And he regains control of the puck. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection. And that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal can be a big difference maker. Trying to get the puck out of the zone. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. And we've got a two-on-one. And makes the save. Gets it out of his own end. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Plays the puck up ahead. Smart defensive play there. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Play whistled dead because of an offside. Barlamov's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Late goings of this period. We got a tie game. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the dots. Passes right to the front. He scores! Breaks the deadlock! Really good play at the net. And now somebody's got a lead, and we'll see if they can increase it. The good thing he one-times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot and he beats him clean. Edmonton's got the one goal lead here in the opening frame. Better to be ahead than behind, and the coaches are telling them that they want more aggression. They want them to play more in the offensive Edmonton. zone. Score on the power play. By number 97. Slides it to McDavid. pooley has got the puck along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. New York's got the puck along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. 
fires it into the offensive zone. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Into the corner. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Works it across to Pugliarvi. And now he angles it across to Nugent Hopkins. Unloads a shot, and that misses. I really like the way he delivers that puck, but he doesn't hit the net. Shoots it over top. The Islanders have it against the wall. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Jones. And it's a quick pass to McDavid. Across the line. Sent into the opposite side. Pellick's got the puck in his own zone. New York's in transition. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Moves it over to Cajon. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And not much on that one. McDavid's playoff production is so impressive. Among the best in the league in goals here in this playoff season. In the final moments of this period, the Oilers lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Here's a shot, blocked in front. Gets it over to Lee. Forces the turnover and comes up with the puck. Edmonton's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Puck picked up by Everlay. And now he moves it to Lee. Oh, slick work with the glove by Koskinen. Barzell's certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. The Oilers have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities, and as a result, have the lead. The Islanders win it. Puck grabbed by Letty. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Couldn't make that one happen. Cassian's back in the play after getting a new stick at the bench. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on? Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. From the blue line, they take control of it. Stopped by the goaltender. There's another stop. Koskinen's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. The centermen glide into position. Takes a shot. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. There's the horn ending the first period. It went back and forth, and it's a close one here. When your team wins, you win $10 off at Bob's. Bring the nice ticket to any local Bob's Sporting Goods for a coupon that's good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed. With Both teams heading the down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Second period set to get underway. New York's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Skates to the crease. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Great defensive effort with the strip. New York's on the attack. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Quick pass to Pullock. Sends a pass over. Puck scooped up by Nurse. Edmonton's got it across the line. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it to Bear. Slides it across to Pugliarvi. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Pellick's got it along the wing. Denies him, he got all of it. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. 
The Oilers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got him along the wall. Let's it go, and that goes off the iron and stays out. The Oilers continue to lead, but they would have loved to have stretched it out after that one hits the post. Here's a chance. Knocked off the puck. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. Dreisaitl's got it along the boards. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Made that stop. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. Bailey's going to go off for a pair for charging here. Sometimes it just looks like a penalty. You can't even really define it. That looked like a charge. I believe they call that blatant. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. The Islanders get a hold of the puck under man. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Officials arms going up in the air. He caught that hook too. Let's see what the official says here. Sizikas is going off for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. Centers glide into the face-off dot, and a huge five-on-three power play looms. That is quite some time on the five-on-three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two-man advantage slip away. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. pugliarvi has got it in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Pugliarvi. Oh, what a big time stop by Varlamov. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Edmonton's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Komarov's won it in their own end. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Sends it quickly to Barry. And he slides it quickly to Yamamoto. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Steps into the offensive end. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. New York's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Turris. Takes the feed. McDavid's part of a very good power play. They're on one again. He's already got one power play goal tonight. Slides the puck down low. And another stop. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Still lots of time left in the period. Edmonton's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Here's a short pass to Bailey. Grabbed along the board by Beauvillier. Puts it on goal. Stops him with a glove. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. New York's won the draw. Picked up along the wall by Pellick. And he's able to handle that one. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends the pass over. The Islanders go to work on offense. And he sacrifices his body to block the shot. 
Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Right up front, and they can't convert on the play. Edmonton's got it from behind the net. And that one's blocked. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Varlamov. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. New York's got a hold of the puck. Looks to make a play over to Barzell. Puck picked up in the open ice. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Here's an odd man rush. Driving right to the front. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Here's a chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's 2-1. New York's won the draw and they'll go to work. Big save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Dry Seidel's won a big draw on their own end. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Nurse. Gaining momentum up along the side. The Oilers take it along the wall. Move to the middle. Here he is in close. Denies him. Cahoon's got the puck. And he slides it quickly to Dreisaitl. Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. Moves the puck over to Bailey. Receives the pass. The Islanders played along the wing. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. He was locked in there. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Picked up along the boards by Berry. New York's got the puck along the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Taken by Yamamoto. The Oilers take it along the wall. Pokes the puck away. Can't maintain possession. New York's got the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Bailey. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Nugent Hopkins plays it along the wall. Hangs onto the puck. The Islanders have it against the wall. Moves it over to Sezikis. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Good use of the body on the play. Nugent Hopkins carries the puck in his own zone. Cuts to the front. Right. He scores! Two goals on the night for him. He's really been effective for checking a couple of breaks, and now he's got two. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. Edmonton's now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Drills them. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Let's it fly. Oh, denies it with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Koskin in school tending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. And the puck skips away after that move. The Oilers take over on possession. Centering pass. And there's the save. Another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Here in the back half of this period, Edmonton's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And now it's over to Bear. Handles the puck. Handles it along the blue line. Not able to connect. Edmonton's it along the wall and tries to make a diagonal pass to Chase on. Throws it in. 
New York's got it behind the net. Quick pass to Marcel. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Stays with it. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Dumps it into the Ozone. New York's got the puck behind the net. Rocks him. And he coughs it up with the pass. And now it's grabbed by Pulak. Gains the zone through the middle. They've got numbers. Right in front. Lays out with a block. Now can he get up? Oh, New York's gained possession along the boards. And that's blocked. Pass back to the point. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moves it to McDavid. And he gives it over to Pugliarvi. And that one's picked off. Really good work in the offensive zone here. Excellent effort. Manages to hang on. Strong defensive effort. Quick pass over to Mayfield. Blocker saved by Koskinen. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Players call this eating the puck. Sometimes you got to lay down to block a shot. That's a really good play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. McDavid's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Offside the call and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. The setters will glide into the dot. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. New York's ready to go on the attack. Turns him away. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Rips it. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Now, positionally, he's in the right spot here. That's a hard shot. He made it look rather easy. The Islanders have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Passes over to Neal. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Loose puck battle along the boards. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And that's picked off. New York's looking to break out. Couldn't connect on that pass. And now he moves it quickly to Tourist. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Beauvillier. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Moves the puck. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Islanders have it behind the cage. Now a quick pass to Boychuk. Too much traffic in the lane. Feeds the puck over to Dreisaitl. Maintains possession. Sends it across. And that one's stopped. Bumped off the puck. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Right in the slot. And that's broken up. Boychuk's taking it from his own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Trying to get back on the attack now. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Jabs the puck away. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. And the stick falls apart. Who's more frustrated, the player or is the coach on the bench on Matt? Uh, coaches are always frustrated <laughs> when the game doesn't go the way they want it to. But they're in a suit. They're not the guy shooting it. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. New York's had a lot of good looks offensively, but they have run into one hot goaltender, which is why they trail late in this second. Sisikas has it in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Clutterbuck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Brilliant save, run it perfectly. 
period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Hey, fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team's signed poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go, third period is underway. Big play inside the defensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Nice defensive robbery on that. Slides the puck over. Quick shot, denies him in close. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Oh! That hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as oh, hard as he could. Goodness. Grabbed along the board by Puyo Yarby. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Quick feed to Pellick. Nice pass. Pokes it away in his own end. Can't find his man. Here's a short pass to Lee. Denied by the goaltender. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And the play continues. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Takes the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Great stick saved by Varlamov. And some good footwork to kick it away. New York's got the puck along the wall. The Islanders take it across the line. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. New York's got the puck along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Beauvillier. Nice zone entry from the middle. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Bailey's going to play it from the back of the cage. And he slides it quickly to Del Cole. Wrist shot from the slot. And that one's blocked! And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Knocked away. Takes the feed. The Islanders take it across the blue line. And he slides it quickly to Pellick. Let's it go! Glove save! How did he get a piece of that? Yeah, he does a nice job here finding the puck as it works its way through. He's got to pick it up somewhere amongst all that traffic. Backhander in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. And a strong effort on that play. From center, they get into the attacking area. On the doorstep, and he can't get it off. The Oilers have it against the wall. The Islanders get a hold of it. Moves it to Del Cole. Hammers a shot just wide. Feeds it down low. New York's working the puck near the point. From the top of the offensive zone here. Picked up along the wall by Del Cole. Sends a pass over. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Puck picked up by Larson. Moves it quickly over to Kara. Comes up with a stop. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed. The Oilers take it from the side. The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Sends the pass over. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Great poke check on the reach. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And he regains control of the... Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Barlamov's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Koskinen's always a battler, and here he makes a great save on this chance. The Islanders have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. McDavid's won the draw. Here he is, wristed on net, denies him in front. Receives the pass. Puck grabbed by Boychuk. Goes right to the crease. 
Edmonton's gained possession. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Nelson's got it in the defensive end. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Fires one. Denied by the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Nice poke check. Solid check to slow him down. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Handles the puck. Makes the save. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Oilers are up 3-1. Nice job tying up his opponent. Pinned up along the boards. Puck scooped up by Bailey. Off his stick. Glove save. Somehow got a piece of it. Koskinen's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. It's a two-on-one. Takes the feed at the point. What a stop as he puts out the fire. This was a dangerous slap shot here. Scoring chance, but the goalie makes the save. New York's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. The Oilers win the draw. And now he moves it quickly to Cajon. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. The Islanders take it along the wing. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Angles it over to Marcel. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. New York's gained possession along the boards. Can't connect. Moves the puck. And he gets a glove on it to keep it at bay. Big stop by the keeper. Barlamov's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. More than half the period has expired. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. The Islanders are on the attack. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Dishes it to Neal. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Hangs onto the puck. Turns it away. Scooped up along the wall by Kara. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Pass across to Nelson. And now he angles it across to Pullock. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lee. Slides the puck over. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Good hit on the play. Quick feed to Cassian. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. New York's got possession at center. Here they are on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Koskinen's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. The hitting hasn't let up at all since the beginning of the game. All night, both teams have been on the body. New York's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. The Oilers win the draw. Passes it to Nugent Hopkins. Moves it to the offensive zone. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. Pajot's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. 
The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone face-off. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. Here's a chance. Gives them nothing in front. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stop that one. The centermen glide into position. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Made the stop on the play. Turris has won the draw. Kuya Yarby's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Puck battle along the boards. The Islanders have it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Nice pass. Takes it to the front. Takes it right in the chest. Koskinen's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Good check, frees the puck up. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Quick pass across to Neal. And a poke check knocks the puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Can't connect! The Oilers will play it in their own end. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Takes the pass. Here they come, three of them. Answered the call there. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Takes the feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Stones him in front. Picked up along the boards by Peugeot. Moves it to Boychuk. New York's at the back end. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Levels him with the hit. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. The Islanders win it. Stopped by the goaltender. Koskinen's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. In the final moments of this period, 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Everle. Oh, lightning quick reflexes on the one-timer. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. New York's won the face-off. Here he is in front, and they can't connect. Koskinen's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Kara's won it off the faceoff. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. 
The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Slides it on over to Barcel. New York's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And they can't convert to the play. Puck move back to the neutral zone. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. With some open space at center. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And there's the whistle stopping the play. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. The Islanders will get a small sample size of a five on three. I guess you can look at this as... It's okay to be patient, even if you don't score till after the five on three is over. But man, even a short one like this, you have in the back of your head, you could score twice. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Headman pass. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And here's the pass to Pugliarvi. He's got a step. Shots it down on the breakaway. Pretty soon you just run out of time and you don't get any more good chances. That's why these saves are so critical in a close game. Here in the late going of the frame, Edmonton's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Nugent Hopkins has won the faceoff. Sends a pass over. Quick shot, and he makes the save. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. The Islanders have it behind the net. And now he moves it to Komarov. New York's got it in the offensive zone. Stays with it. Quick feed to Everle. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Koskinen. And he came out and challenged a good save. And the puck fakes off the glove. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Barzell. New York's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marcel. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. But you work so hard for the lead, you don't want to give it back by coughing up a couple of power plays. They get bailed out by their penalty killers. Nice job there. Costin is in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. New York's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. Ray, game seven, buddy. Game sevens are the best. I mean, the, the do or die nature to it. Everything that you play for all year comes down to 60 minutes. I love it. Well, another W and another salute to the fans. Yeah, you better salute them. These are the people that come and pay the tickets to come and watch you play. And they want to have some fun, too. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.